Hey everybody, welcome back to Green Mile Gaming. So today I'm going to talk about Kate Warren, especially in honor of Women's History Month. Kate Warren, she was born in 1833 and she died in 1868. She was 35 years old. That's really sad. But she was a bad woman though. Like, this woman... She was the first female American law enforcement officer. Uh, she was a Pinkerton detective. She actually went into the Pinkerton uh, agency in 1856 and wanted a job. And he was like, no, we don't hire women. Or, you know, it's not, our, it's not our custom to hire women. And she is quoted as saying, women have an eye for detail and are excellent observers. So he's like, all right, fine. I'll give you a chance, woman. Let's see what you can do. And it went along, and he did have a chance. He was like, I'm going to test this. I'm going to test this woman. He tested her with the Adams Express Company embezzlements. So this Adams Express Company is a company. They hired the Pinkerton Agency, and they said, hey, we're losing money out of the Montgomery, Alabama office. We don't know what's going on. And the guy over that office was a Nathan Maroney. And so they hired the Pinkerton Agency to... To look into it well kate being a woman she was able to befriend mr maroney's wife like get into her confidences was able to get a bunch of information a lot of her stuff a lot of her stuff is what led to his arrest and actually conviction so she was able to do all that get all the information lead to his arrest get him convicted it was found out he stole over $50,000 at the time. $50,000 at the time, which was equivalent to $1.8 million or around, like it's like a little bit over $1.8 million in today's money. What? Anyway, so he did that. She gets him convicted. She was able to cover, Kate was able to recover $1.3 million of that one point eight. After this, after the Adams Express Company embezzlement, Mr. Pinkerton was like, you know what? All right, women can do. So he promoted her and put her in charge of the Female Detective Bureau. With that, she was able to hire women like Elizabeth H. Baker and Hattie Lawton. Kate was able to overthrow an actual assassination plot on the president. President Lincoln, who unfortunately we do know later in life did get assassinated, but that was after Kate's death. Kate was one of five sent to Baltimore, Maryland to investigate secessionist activity. The railroad in Baltimore was like, hey, we've got some of this activity going on. We really need some people to check it out. So they went in. They were able to find out that this actually goes past the railroad. There's a presidential assassination attempt and plot it was going to draw the police away from president lincoln and into this whole conflict or fight or whatever allowing people to assassinate president lincoln and then flee on a steamboat that was waiting a little bit nearby and take the murderers to virginia so they do that well they don't do that they don't succeed in it but they you know the plot gets found out and they found it out through you know these five officers, Kate being one of them who used disguises and stuff, found it out. They actually let President Lincoln know about it. And so one of the important things here is that Lincoln was actually, he's, he's traveling from Springfield, Illinois to Washington, D.C. by train. In that route, there is a transfer that happens in Baltimore. Baltimore is kind of like a big hub. And that's where they do their transfers and stuff of train cars and so he has to go to like Harrisburg and then hits Baltimore transfers and then on up to Washington DC so they find out all the information that they need and they even present it to President Lincoln he's like I don't know I don't know if there's a plot well a secondary source comes in and is like hey actually there is a plot and that's when Lincoln's like okay and they're in Harrisburg and he was like you know what fine there's a plot but i have three speeches i must go raise the flag at independence hall 
and I have a dinner. I can't cancel my dinner. So he's, he's all convinced he's got to do his things. And they're like, fine. The Pinkerton agency is like, fine, you know, you can do your things. And afterwards, we're going to take over. We're going to get you to Washington, D.C. So in that process, they, at like five whatever, they changed his itinerary that had been published secretly. They blocked the Western Union. They didn't let it get sent out. And they had him disguised as like an invalid and all these different things. And Kate was providing him with all these disguises and changing him out. And she, on February 22nd through February 23rd, when they were going through Baltimore, she did not sleep at all. Not a bit. She got him all the way to Washington, D.C. And it was in the course of this that the Pinkerton agency came up with their slogan, We Never Sleep, because Kate Warren didn't sleep. She stayed awake. She provided the president with disguises, got him all the way to Washington, D.C., where he could take his seat in office and do his oath and everything and become our president. And actually, it was also this, too, with Kate Warren that the Secret Service was kind of, it wasn't started yet. I don't think the Secret Service came in until like 1861. So, but Abraham Lincoln is the one who started the Secret Service. And it was in part thanks to Kate Warren and the Peter Pan Detective Agency. Thank you, Kate. After the Baltimore plot, you know, Kate went on to continue doing her things. She was a informant and would gather intelligence with, like, during the Civil War. She would pretend to be uh, Alan Pinkerton's wife, and it was kind of rumored that she was his mistress anyway. We don't judge Kate. But, so she would pretend to be his wife, got into, like, the Southern ladies stuff you know attended dinners and socials and whatnot got information there unfortunately in the great fire of illinois in 1871 we lost a lot of the unpublished files of the pinkerton detective agency so that means a lot of kate's actual stuff over the years is gone anything that wasn't published i mean who knows what stories they were like oh that's not important that are actually like what you know who knows but Kate died on January 28th, 1868. She died of, they said it was congestion of the lungs, which we're kind of contributing to pneumonia. And uh, she was buried in the Pinkerton family plot in Graceland, Illinois. And that was Kate Warren's life. Thanks to Kate, she kind of helped pave the way for females in law enforcement. I mean, she's the first female law enforcement officer detective. And because of her and because of her ability to show people like, hey, women can get into places that you can't. Women can talk to people that you can't. She did it all. So thanks, Kate. You're an awesome lady. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy your month of March. And we'll see you next time.